Six seven K Cal rocks. Time to do some sports on your Monday with our guy Pep. What's going on, Pep? Guys, I'm going to hit you with a really cool shout out right out of the gate. So, and when you talk about Division One college men's basketball, Gonzaga has the number one, the longest winning streak in the country right now. They've won 26 straight games. That's Gonzaga on the men's side. On the women's side, as of this morning, as you're hearing this. California Baptist University has won 23 straight. That is now the longest in all of Division I college women's basketball. So Gonzaga for the men, CBU for the women. How cool is that? Congratulations to both of them. And it is just so unusual that those little schools can be so powerful in the entire nation. Yeah, it's unbelievable. CBU's come so far in such a, a short amount of time. And they're not eligible for March Madness this year because they're still in this uh, four-year transition process to Division One. But they could go to the WNIT, assuming we have a WNIT. But yeah, they're that good. So just keep an eye on them in, the, in years to come because they are that good right now uh, down there in Riverside. Very cool. All right, now let's get to some NBA basketball, guys. And, you know, we talked about the Brooklyn Nets and they're, and they're forming this super team, right, with... Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and James Harden now on that team. Well, Brooklyn just beat the Lakers and the Clippers in the last couple of days. They beat the Clippers last night. I don't know if Brooklyn's a real threat or not, but they just beat two of the best teams in the West, including our Lakers and Clippers. I think you never know when you put some of these super teams together if the chemistry is working. And dare we say, is the chemistry working in Brooklyn, even with all those weirdos? Well, and you got to remember, too, I mean, a team like Brooklyn is a super team that is forming, trying to get their feet going, whereas the Lakers are, you could argue, a super team that just is coming off of a championship and knows all they got to do is be healthy in the playoffs. Like, right. Get it's, there, be healthy, and then you're good. We have seen it with the Lakers. That is true. They have a little bit of a track record, but I thought it was going to be too much personalities in the room in Brooklyn, and it would implode immediately. Right. But it looks like they can play together. Uh, Kyrie looks happy, and uh-oh, happy Kyrie, even if he's weird, is a good basketball player. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you're right. I think we all thought it was going to be a dumpster fire, and it still might. Like, they might be in this right. this honeymoon period still, right? You know, like, because it's still pretty new, and everyone's happy, and they're winning some games, and everyone's getting their points. But could this go sour maybe in a couple of months? I don't know. All I know is the Lakers and Clippers are serious title contenders, and the Nets just beat them both on the road in, in the span of a couple of days. They're like, okay, well, maybe the Nets are legit. Kind of got my attention. Right. I think he's right. It does tell you something about the Nets. Look out. I mean, the good thing is, is like, as far as like championship goes, the Nets then have to get through the East already anyway to get there, which there's some other good teams out there. You're right. See what happens. You're right, Forty. You're exactly right. And, and in the West, the Lakers play the Jazz on Wednesday night. The Jazz are the best team in the NBA record-wise, so oh. we'll, that, that'll be another big test for the Lakers uh, come Wednesday night. Uh, we go to spring training, where Major League Baseball teams across Arizona and Florida are back in spring training, getting the baseball season started on time. And, you know, in Dodgers camp, the big news is 33-year-old Clayton Kershaw is on the final year of his contract, and the Dodgers have not negotiated or or offered or any sort of an extension or new contract for Clayton Kershaw. So he said yesterday he wants to continue playing, but I don't know. It's got to be mutual, right? I don't know if the Dodgers necessarily want him back if they haven't started at least negotiating or talking about it. I think if he's going to come back, he's going to have to take a pay cut because I know he's Clayton Kershaw, but he's not Clayton Kershaw. He hasn't the reputation taking a big hit because of his, like, playoff and postseason performances. And don't get him wrong. I mean, he's pitched for a long time. He can't pitch forever. Yeah, and the Dodgers have so many good young arms coming up. That's the other thing, too. I mean, we've seen Walker Buehler already rise to, like, an ace, like a number one status. He's that good. And if you follow, let's say, the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes, I mean, you know there's all these great young players coming up that, you know, it kind of makes the decision a little bit more difficult for the Dodgers because they're like, okay, we, we Clayton, you've done so much great stuff for the franchise. We value you so much. But we've got to give these young guys a chance. Like, they're that good, and we want to win now. Like, and Clayton Kershaw's still good, just not great. He is getting to the end, though. Yes. Man, it's unfortunate. Even though he's only 33, I know pitchers can, you know, pitch uh, pretty. Remember, who was your guy, Patrick? Was it Jamie Moyer? 
for yeah, the uh, for every pitch only was like fifty. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he pitched only was almost fifty. I remember he was a Seattle Mariners guy for a long time. But yeah, pitchers can go a long time if they if they kind of retool maybe their the the way they pitch. You know, not mm-hmm. fastball every pitch, but kind of work the plate. So. We'll see what Clayton Kershaw does there. Hey, a quick shout out to our guy, Taiwan Walker from Ukaipa High School. Got picked up by the New York Mets. Two years, $20 million. Not too bad for the former Ukaipa T Bird. Gosh, as they say, man, teach your kids to be pitchers, right? <laughs> That's good money Jeez. right there. No kidding. To the NFL, the the quarterback carousel for uh, you know these NFL QBs who are either going to be traded or free agents are going to be on the move. Here's the latest: Drew Brees of the New Orleans Saints telling his team last night he will come back to the Saints. I think he's what 39 years old. He's going to come back, Man. which is funny because we saw the big highlight at the end of last season was him teary eyed on the sideline telling uh, Jameis, "It's your team now." <laughs> I guess like a month later, eh, maybe not. <laughs> you know, we've learned, Forty, it's hard to let go. Wait, you know what? I mean, they're bringing in another quarterback to throw the deep ball. It's tough to let go, man. Oof. Yeah, it's it's funny because I'm like you guys. I, I thought the writing was on the wall. Like, man, that's it. You know, <laughs> Jameis, this is your team. He was throwing the ball with his kids. Like this real emotional, sensitive, you know, moment at the end of the game or after the game. And it was like, nah, I'm coming back. You know, it's all good. You know, like in the moment, yeah, he probably was all caught up in the emotions. But yeah, he's he's coming back. That's what he announced. It's basically the scene from Wolf of Wall Street where he's just like, I ain't leaving. No, nope. nah, I'm not leaving. <laughs> so, in his farewell speech, he changes it up. I'm not leaving. <laughs> and this will end badly. <laughs> it could. They're going to maybe kick him out the door. I'm not sure if it's going to be where a uh, situation where he ends up on another team at some point. I don't know. But speaking of guys on other teams, Carson Wentz finally found a home. Oh. He's, he's going to the Colts. The Eagles let him go. So, 40, uh, you guys are going to you know, be going with Jalen Hurts from here at quarterback for the Eagles. It's going to be a Hurts era in Philadelphia. Whether that is good or bad, we will find out. And then we'll see how Carson does. Obviously, in Indianapolis. I mean, it looks like he's got a line in front of him. He's got a back behind him and a defense to support him. But Look out. What he does not have is the number 11. Uh, the, oh. I believe it's a receiver who has that number set. He's not going to give up number 11. He that. wants to keep it. Yeah, I think that's Michael think Pittman it. Jr., the, uh, a receiver yes. Yes. for the Colts. So, yes. Yeah, usually a receiver will be like, you know, or just any other player will be like, yeah, you know, buy me a new watch, take me out to dinner, something like that. I'll right. give you your number. It's not a big deal. But I guess Michael Pittman's uh, very attached to that number 11. So Carson Wentz will have to go with something something else with the Colts. But maybe that's a good thing. A, a new start in Indianapolis. I mean, a rough start when you're coming in as a starting quarterback and you're like, hey, pick a new number, pal. I like that. <laughs> already, getting, already getting punked on his new team. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, news out of Las Vegas, it sounds like, you know, Derek Carr, who it looked like maybe they were going to trade him, release him, do something. Um, looks like they're going to possibly give him an extension. That's the new rumor now is that the Las Vegas Raiders oh. will give Derek Carr an extension to keep him as the starting quarterback of the Raiders for the uh, the coming year. So kind of surprising there. Yeah, there's just a couple of chips that have fallen. There's a few more to go with these quarterbacks. It's kind of fun to see what's going to happen here. I mean, yeah. the Raiders were alive in that Deshaun Watson time right. for a little bit. But, yeah, now it seems like, okay, maybe they're going to go with Carr instead. Exactly. Yeah. What is going to happen with Deshaun Watson? That's going to make a lot of things move. Yeah, exactly. And the Texans have said that they have no intention of trading Deshaun right. Watson. So is he going to hold out not play this play. year? Like, I don't know. What does that look like? They have no intentions of trading the player. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what that looks like as we get closer to the real offseason of the NFL, which will start in the middle of March. And finally, guys, I don't know if you saw it, but over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we had outdoor NHL hockey up in Lake Tahoe. It was a beautiful setting, an outdoor rink right on the edge of the lake uh, on a golf course. And I think Green Day even debuted their new song uh, on Saturday as part of this outdoor hockey series. Here comes the the shock by Green Day. Pr- pretty awesome that they can come. You know, the NHL can pull something like this off. Um, rocking Pep, keeping us up to date on uh, Green yeah, Day. I, I love it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Pep, yeah. I, I thought you guys were already playing that song. I think I knew about that. I love it, dude. Fresh new music <laughs> and keeping us up to date on all our sports. He's Pep. Tell him how to get your stuff. Hey, if you want to stay up to date on the latest of will we have high school football this year, you got to follow Inland Sports all over social media, the YouTube channel as well, Inland Sports. Thanks, Pep.